Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on higher order differential equation. This is our question. This equation is of the form f of b into y equal to x. The solution of this equation is given by y equal to yc plus yp, where yc is the complementary function and yp is the particular integral. We will first find what is yc. To find yc, we need an auxiliary equation. An auxiliary equation is nothing but f of d equal to 0. What is f of d? Our f of d is this part. So d cube minus 2d minus 4 is equal to 0. So we need to find the roots of this equation. This equation have three roots. Is there any way to find this root? If you observe this equation closely, when we put d equal to 2 in this equation, it is 8 and 2 into 2 will become 4 and minus 4. So this equation turns out to be 0. That means d minus 2 is a root of this equation. Okay. When we know one root of the equation, the other two roots can be found out by using a synthetic division. Here we write the coefficient of d cube. Here we write the coefficient of d square. Here we write the coefficient of t. And here we write the constant. So what is coefficient of d cube 1? What is the coefficient of d square? Since d square is not given, so its coefficient is 0. What is coefficient of d? It is minus 2 and constant is minus 4. d minus 2 is one root. So we write d equal to 2 here and we take this one as it is. So 2 into 1 is nothing but 2 and 0 plus 2 is 2. Then again, we multiply this 2 and this 2. We get 4 and then we add, we get 2. Then we multiply 2 into 2, we get 4 and the remainder is 0. So we get our coefficient as 1, 2, 2. We multiply by d raised to 0. We multiply by d raised to 1 and this will be d square and we add. Our new equation will become d square plus 2d plus 2 equal to 0 and d minus 2 is our another root. Okay. One root is d minus 2 and the other two roots can be found out from this equation. This is a quadratic equation and we know that to find the roots of quadratic equation, we know the formula minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Similarly, we are going to apply the formula here b is 2 plus minus root of b square is 4 minus 4. a is 1, c is 2 upon 2 into 1. So d equal to minus 2 plus minus 4 minus 8 is nothing but minus 4 upon 2. Since this is a root of negative, we have a complex roots. So it will be i into 2 upon 2. If I divide by 2, it will be minus 1 plus minus i. Our other two roots are minus 1 plus i and minus 1 minus i. So the roots of these equations are m1 equal to 2 and we have the complex conjugate root that is minus 1 plus minus i. Then in this case, our yc is given by c1 e raised to m1x. What is m1? m1 is 2. And for complex root, it is given by e raised to alpha x c1 cos x cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. So for complex roots, our yc is given by this equation. In our case, alpha is minus 1 and beta is 1. So we have e raised to alpha x, e raised to minus 1 x. Here we have used c1. So here we are going to use c2 cos beta x, beta is 1 plus c3 sin beta x. Here beta is 1. This is our solution for yc. 